Hey everyone, so um, I've got the final figure in this set, so I'll just move them out of the way. So basically, I, in some capacity, I did like a video of these three, um, and this is the last one. Um, so the Big Bad Toy Store had this up, and I think a lot of people are getting it. Um, I think it was initially supposed to come out like December, like late this year, but you know, people are getting it, and now it's available. Um, so it is a bit pricey. It's uh, about 30 There are some more accessories and you get kind of like an extra pack. Um, I initially want to, I eventually want to get like a, another one, but this one was, the eh, packaging wasn't bad, but like, you know, this part slipped off and the back is kind of sliding around. And um, to be honest, this is, um, you know, uh, this is the only tow figure we've had in, a long long time i think this is like this is the 20th anniversary of the marvel legends you know the first group and that was the first group was you know hulk cap iron man and toad so and this figure looks way better than the one we got before which i wish i still had that would have been a really funny comparison um but anyways in the package it looks pretty cool like they all I think it's a stand or something, so I haven't opened any of these either, but like it's like a stand of some kind of like an important combo cover. Uh, with this one in the back is uh, his first appearance and the first appearance of the Brotherhood, um, which I'll show you a little bit more, X-Men number four. Um, it's like we got an extra head, two extra hands, some frogs. Um, on the back, if you want to read it, you can pause it there. Um, doesn't really say anything much about Toad. It just talks about, you know, this came out back in 2002 um, in a Prado shop. So um, everything on the side is just, you know, the usual. So um, anyways, I'm going to pop this open and show you how it looks. Alrighty. Um, I forgot one piece actually. There's like a, a stand. Pop it out real quick. But, um, so this is the stand that comes with them. Um, apparently it's with all these. I wish they would do this more often. Like, this is pretty cool. Just has, like, the Marvel Legends there. Um, there's a little piece here for this, uh, stand, I guess. Um, so this is two-sided. So, again, this is just, like, a copy of the cover of X-Men 4. Um, and this was the original comic book too. So this was like, so X-Men 1 was the first appearance of the original X-Men and Magneto. This was the first appearance of, that's Toad, or what he looked like back then. Mastermind, Scarlet Witch, and Quicksilver. So if you're watching this stuff nowadays, that's where they uh, originated from, which was kind of interesting. So this should just go in here. Try not to mess it up or anything. There we go. So yeah, so it just kind of stands there and that's it. Um, it's kind of like slanted forward and there is a back side here too, which I don't know, whatever. I just, I kind of like this a lot better to be honest with you. But yeah, it's a little slanted forward. You can kind of see it's like a, like a, I don't know, 30 degree angle or uh, yeah, that would be 90, so I guess that'd be like 70, 80. Uh, thinking like this would be a right angle. Anyways, enough trigonometry. Um, so I guess we'll start with the figure. Um, so it does have like the shortness to them. Uh, face looks really good. Like it's real creepy and a lot of like wrinkles and detail there. There's like darkness around the eyes. You know, the teeth look really good. Um... You know, Toad's changed outfits and looks over the years, but he's always looked kind of creepy or whatnot. The hair looks really good. Kind of like good wash in there, too. Um, the color kind of throws me off. Like, I'm just not sure how to feel about it. I don't know. <laughs> um, it's like yellow with this kind of light purple. Um, so used to like green or brown or something. I don't know, but... Um, 
there's quite a bit of articulation here. So as far as the head goes, like it just kind of looks up this way and like down like that. That head may be a little different. Um, this piece here just kind of lays on top. It's, it looks like it's glued back here somewhere. Um, he does have like the butterfly joints. So you can kind of see it there. So his arms can kind of spread out a little bit more. Um, has a typical articulation otherwise. And this is kind of like a note to the classic where he had these little things on his ankles and braces and stuff. Um, kind of wish they made this part a little thicker or something because you can see those joints poke out, especially from the side. It's real bad. You know, imagine like if you got them kind of stretched out, it, you know, you can kind of get away from it. But yeah, um, it's where they did the, uh, the pin joints here on the arm. And then did pitless joints in the legs. So I don't really understand why they do that. I think the way it looks to me is like this may be from an old sculpt that they just repainted. And this looks like more of a new sculpt with like the bunched up pants and stuff like that. Um, the belt, it's a separate piece. It doesn't feel like it's glued, but it's on there pretty tight. Um, doesn't look like it pops off anywhere. Um, he does have like that diaphragm swivel and he does have like an apprench too, which is, you can't really do much with it though, because it's like behind the belt and all that too. So you can kind of see it down here at the bottom as well. So, um, which I mean, I'm okay with, I'm not going to do something nuts with them, but you know, just have them lean back a little bit. I do like that they went with that with the torso and the legs that kind of bunched up and closed because his toe was never like buff. Um, but they didn't go like that with the arms. So the arms, the mold kind of sticks out. So like this is like real muscular. I mean, they try to hide a little bit, but I mean, you know, those triceps are pretty muscular. Um, so yeah, everything else is pretty basic. I mean, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, let's see. Now the two open hands, so yeah, fits the hands, you know, there. Um, yeah, pretty good. And he has two toads, so the first one is like brown with a white body. Looks pretty good. Um, so they got the eyes on there pretty good. The other one is green. So there's that. That I'll probably just put back in the thing. I'm trying to make more simple um, stands, I guess you could say. I like this though, I mean, I think this looks really good. So it's basically the same sculpt, except for it's like an open mouth. The tongue goes out real far, has a lot of angles to it. It's not like where you can bend it or anything, it's just, or maneuver it, or I don't know what the word is, but like it basically stays in place. It has like a texture to it too, I don't know if you can see that. Um, like you can see little spots on the tongue. Like there's a couple there. There's like one here. Um, and it's smoother on the bottom. So I think they did a really good job of that. So that's probably the way I'm going to pose them is with this and those open hands. I don't know what Toe's powers really were. Like he had the, the tongue. He could jump really far. It was like he had all the powers of a toad and none of their weakness. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> um, I think he had like some enhanced strength too. Like he was like maybe cap or Wolverine level strength. Um, you know, all the crazy agility and stuff too. Like he was never like a really cool villain, but he wasn't a bad one either. So I think at some point he was like a leader of the Brother of the Mutants when... Um, when Magneto left, so there's that too. Um, so yeah, you can get them pretty, pretty low. Why well, will he'll balance like that? So So 
want to read that butterfly joint that kind of pitches on a little bit. Then otherwise, too, you can only use a stand. So, but I mean, on his own, he does pretty good. Um, the feet are pretty good size. Like, they're a little bigger and flatter. But, like, I noticed, like, this, the top, like, kind of tips up a little bit. So, but I think it gets more of the design, though. So, it takes a little work to kind of get him to stand. But, yeah, that's not bad at all. Um... Move this stuff out of the way, and that may be the thumbnail right there. Um, overall, I think it's really good. Um, I like it. You know, this kind of makes me want to, like, get another set of these. Like, get find a good one like this in the package and get a set of these. And, I don't know, maybe just open them all up. Have, like, a, a set in the package and then a set that's, like, you know, open. You know, just kind of have, like, a display just for these four people you know and probably like this hulk's a big dude put him in the back put toad in the front and then put these two on the side and you know i mean it's kind of like an homage to like my you know overall my favorite toy line like if i had to pick it's marvel legends i think oh one thing i did want to do is just kind of do like a size comparison um so let me stand them up real quick and just show you so, I think Toe was like 5'7", five, 5'6", five, or something. So, he's just a little bit taller than Wolverine. And then he's just a little bit shorter than Cyclops. And then you can kind of see that there. So, he was, you know, in scale. So, again, like an inch. An inch, and this scale is a foot, you know. So, um... But yeah, um, if I had to give them a score, like, I'm really happy with it. Like, there's just minor gripes that I mentioned, you know, with the, uh, you know, the over buff arms, I guess, and the, you know, this joint part sticking out here. But, I mean, overall, it's, like, really, it's really good to see, like, a figure that we just, you know, we don't something different you know we don't get that often um i think my main thing is the price like you know this is a 30 dollar plus figure and you know part of me is like yeah you kind of gotta get it because i mean it's toad we haven't had toad in a while stuff like that and that part of me is like you know, they're just charging extra because it's an anniversary edition, quote unquote. Um, you know, it does have a little bit extra that we, you know, don't get from the basic figures, but still it's just I just felt like they could they charged a few bucks more because they knew they could. You know, that's the way I feel about it. But I mean, you know, maybe Hasbro will learn from this stuff because I'm seeing a lot of this stuff just sitting on shelves. I'm seeing you know, these figures all the time at GameStop, you know, and they're on sale now. They're like 20% off. So, which pissed me off though because I bought him and, you know, could have got probably 6 or $7 off um, finding it at GameStop or order online or anything. Um, but yeah, so these are 20% off too. I think everything pretty much toy-wise is. So, um, I mean, I'd probably get an eight and a half. You know, I lean more towards like, it's good to have him to add to your X-Men villains or Brotherhood or whatever. Um, but I also do sympathize with being, you know, a bit overcharged for what you get, you know. I don't think this and the extra accessories make it worth an extra five, ten dollars or whatever it is, you know, depending on where you go. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts and uh, that is it and thanks for watching.